Your AAA foundation for traffic safety welcomes you to Sharing the Road. We're going to look at how to share the road with different kinds of traffic. And we'll answer questions like, how can drivers help protect pedestrians? How can you reduce the risk of collisions with bikes and motorcycles? And how do you safely share the road with trucks and oversized vehicles? All this and more in Sharing the Road. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Burnett and welcome to Driving Safety. <laughs> and I'm Patrice King-Brown. This installment of Driving Safety is about sharing the road. That's right, sharing the road safely with pedestrians, joggers, animals, bicyclists, motorcyclists, trucks, and large and slow moving vehicles. Now all these people and vehicles have a right to use our roads and that's why in this presentation we're going to show you how to share the road with them all safely. First of all, let's talk about pedestrians, people on foot. Now, what problems do pedestrians pose for drivers, Patrice? Well, sometimes pedestrians don't obey traffic laws, and drivers who aren't alert for them can hit them. Or the driver can swerve to miss the pedestrian only to hit something else. Mm -hmm. Drivers concentrating on traffic, signs, signals, and other roadway users often fail to check for pedestrians until it's too late. Distracted pedestrians often cross the street without looking both ways, too. That's right, and they might run across the street either against the light or just as the light is turning red. They should know better, but even adults in a hurry will often disregard safety and assume that the driver will both see them and grant them the right of way. But making either of these assumptions can be fatal. Drivers have an absolute responsibility to avoid and prevent collisions with pedestrians. When driving, you should scan the roadway and the sides of the road continuously. Watch for children on or near the street and scan beneath parked vehicles for any sign of movement. Also, look for clues that children may be present. Watch children signs, toys in a front yard, or a bicycle in a driveway. Children are at a disadvantage as pedestrians because they're smaller and less visible to drivers. When playing on sidewalks, children tend to forget about traffic and dart into the street, often from between parked cars. And finally, children on skateboards, sleds, skates, or bikes sometimes lose control and shoot over the edge of a sidewalk and into the street. A driver must always yield the right of way to a pedestrian in a crosswalk. And watch for older pedestrians, too, who need more time to cross. Exercise special care at intersections, especially when you're making a right turn. Even if the pedestrian is crossing illegally, you should give them a break. How can you reduce the risk of collisions with bikes and motorcycles? Both motorcycles and bicycles are smaller and less visible than cars. The driver of a passenger car should think of them as occupying a space the same size as a car. Two-wheeled vehicles, particularly bicycles, are much more difficult to spot, especially when they approach from the side. Motorcycles and bicycles are easily hidden from the driver's sight by larger vehicles sharing the road. Always make cycles aware of your intentions and position. Signal well in advance when turning, changing lanes, or stopping. Drivers should be aware of the problems cyclists face so they can anticipate situations in which a cyclist might suddenly slow down, steer widely left or right, or stop. Cyclists will make major corrections in speed or position in response to storm drains, potholes, rain slick road surfaces, gravel, even puddles. When driving near a cyclist, an automobile driver should scan the road ahead for conditions that may put the cyclist at risk. Be ready to give the cyclist time and space as he or she maneuvers to avoid trouble. You should be alert to the possibility that cyclists may not obey traffic laws and always be prepared for the unexpected. Remember, cyclists have as much right to use our public roads as any other drivers, but they don't have strong, massive vehicles to protect them. Drivers of cars and other heavy vehicles must take care not to endanger cyclists. Which brings us to the heaviest vehicles on the road today, trucks and tractor trailers. How can you safely share the road with these guys? Well, keep in mind, Patrice, that our economy and our way of life depends on truck transportation of goods and services. <laughs> Love those trucks. Yep. Now fill me in on the differences in size and weight which affect their handling, as well as the view of traffic scene the driver has. Okay, well, today's trucks can be up to 120 feet long and weigh up to 40 times more than the average car. And their size puts them at a serious disadvantage when it comes to seeing cars around them. Despite their side view mirrors, truck drivers often cannot see a car beside or behind them. 
The blind spot on the right side of a tractor trailer is big enough by far for the driver to lose track of a car. If you drive on the right side of a truck and cannot see the driver by looking at the right hand mirror, the driver cannot see your vehicle either. Blindside accidents are the number one danger to passenger car drivers around trucks. So take care when driving to stay out of the truck driver's blind spots whenever possible and avoid passing heavy trucks on the right. Another mistake car drivers make is following too closely. As a rule, if your car is traveling slower than 30 miles an hour, you must be more than 180 feet behind the truck to be visible to the driver. Above 30 miles per hour, you should allow at least a four second following distance to make your car visible to the driver and to allow yourself to see more of the roadway. You should also allow yourself extra time and space when passing. When a large truck passes you, hold the wheel and get ready for the gust of wind created by the truck. If a truck is bearing down on you, move into another lane or pull over to let the truck pass. That's right, and never try to drive by the right side of a truck at an intersection if the truck's right-hand signal is on. Large trucks make very wide right-hand turns, so stay back even if the truck is in the left lane. When following or approaching a truck on a wet road, turn your windshield wipers on before the splash and spray hits your windshield. After passing a truck, don't cut directly in front of it. Give it plenty of room to slow down if an emergency should compel you to stop. Use your headlights to alert the driver of the truck to your presence. There are other kinds of vehicles you may encounter on the road, emergency vehicles for instance. When you meet ambulances, police cars, or fire trucks with flashing lights or sirens on, you should yield the right of way. Whenever possible, pull to the right and stop. On freeways, move to the right lane to provide a clear path. Recreational vehicles are harder than cars for drivers to handle because of their weight. Allow an added margin of safety if you encounter one, especially in a strong wind. Remember to stop for school buses too when the red lights are flashing. Road work and construction involves vehicles of many sizes and shapes. Drivers need to be alert around construction vehicles. Be ready to change your speed and position quickly. Oversized and slow-moving vehicles such as farm tractors, road graders, and equipment carriers are a real danger because your car will approach them much faster than it will a vehicle traveling at a more normal speed. Be prepared to slow down if you see one of these vehicles, and before passing, consider the driver's likely actions. As drivers, we have to share the road with all kinds of people, animals, and vehicles. If we drive courteously, if we communicate with the other users of the road and anticipate their actions, we can all travel safely and enjoyably on our roads and highways. Thanks for joining us, everybody.